Why did the White House and the Department of Agriculture react in such a manner before having reviewed the full tape? They claim it had nothing to do with the sensitive racial issues involved, but do you believe them? Joining me now with reaction, former Democratic pollster, Fox News contributor Pat Cadell, columnist, best-selling author, the one and only Ann Coulter. Coulter? <laughs> um, the whole key to this story is that Andrew Breitbart was set up. He was sent a tape that, as we now know, was massively out of context. It did look like this woman was saying something racist. When she first said, uh, it, oh, it was taken out of context, yeah, we've heard that before from politicians telling racist jokes. This is the first time in world history it was literally taken out of context. Right. It was a lovely speech. Of course the White House reacted that way. Of course you reacted the way you did. Anyone would have. I think Breitbart ought to reveal his source because he was set up. This was a fraud. He, the person the person who sent the edited tape mm. has to know what the full speech said. By sending it and to whomever Breitbart. sent only that segment to Andrew Breitbart is the one who should apologize to Shirley Sherrod. Um, I think I think she should. I think to to make to make things right, they should offer the, her the job of vice president. And most importantly, <laughs> I want uh, a one-hour ESPN special in which she yeah. announces whether or not she'll take it. Take the all right, uh, Pat. Your reaction. Well, my reaction is, is that, you know, this was, uh, talk about lack of due process. You know, she worked for these people, for the, for the department. She was a, a long-time employee. She deserved due process. She was thrown under the bus instantly by them. And the White House held a celebration this morning with a kind of a towel snap, I guess, led by Jim Messina, according to Politico, a meeting where they talked about how happy they were about how they handled the communication process. Yeah. This never would have happened, Sean, if she had been part of juiced into the system as one of the key people. Right. This doesn't happen to Eric Holder when he does what he does. It doesn't happen to anybody else. All right. They, 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 there, are, there, are, there are a lot of things interesting. This is an important question, though. I want to get to this. Because she's talking about position she held 24 years ago. In the tape, she does admit that she racially discriminated against a white farmer who is now, by the way, for the record, become a close friend of hers. She describes how she was torn over, you know, how much help she was going to give him. She admits she, she didn't do everything she could for him because he's white. Um, eventually, she says, all right, he was poor and needed help, and that he, she got him one of his own kind. She, but then she says that that she realized she was wrong. But the fact that she held those views 24 years ago, should, should that be factored in at all? No, the speech is an amazing speech. The only reason we know what her views were 24 years ago she was because it, it was this a part of this story. The speech was stunning. It was amazing. And I, I, think, I think the important point to make here is um, this is the problem with taking things out of context. And I can give you three examples off the top of my head of this being done to the Tea Parties, Tea Partiers, and the anti Obama protesters right now that's being perpetrated by the mainstream media. Four. You have the lie about um, John Lewis and people calling him, the anti Obamacare protesters at Capitol Hill protests, calling John Lewis a great civil rights hero, right. the N word, 15 times. That was repeated in a million venues. They're still saying it on MSNBC and CNN. In. Well, Andrew Breitbart put out a $100,000 reward for anyone who has a tape. There were camcorders, well, there were news reporters all over. No one has collected that reward because that never happened. That is a lie. There's the context. It never happened. Another one was shown on Glenn Beck the other night, a shocking tape that went up to prove racism at the tea parties. They have a guy standing at a tea party saying, yep, I'm a white racist. I'm a proud white racist. He's A, it's an obviously a liberal plan. And he's getting booed. And B... You don't see the context of that. You give us 10 more seconds of that tape. He's surrounded by Tea Party. You're saying, go home. We are not racist. You're not one of us. Go home. But that's not what you saw on the Center for American Progress, um, a George Soros left-wing website. You didn't see that on their website. All right, Pat, I hear you want to jump in. Yeah, let, me, let me just say, let me just say racially, you know, I'm sitting in the Fort Sumter district where the studio I'm at is Charleston, South Carolina. We nominated to be electing a black congressman 68% to 32% of Strom Thurmond's son. We have all in the South, I came out of the Civil Rights Movement, we have all overcome. She overcome. Shirley Sherrod mm -hmm. overcame. People here overcome. It's not the kind of politics that's being played in Washington where race is used. And let me tell you something. To play race in any way is not playing with matches. It's playing with nitroglycerin. Mm -hmm. and, the, and as Mary Berry said, the former head of the Civil Rights Commission, appointed by Bill Clinton, said, that's what's being right, played right, here. Better talk about this than joblessness. 
issues. Pat, there's been a lot of issues, though, in the news lately. I mean, you've got the NAACP uh, ostensibly accusing the Tea Party movement of racism. But they're all well, false hang accusations. I, I, hang on one second. But As this one against was and, against Shirley Sherrod. It was false. I got it. But, and then we have the new Black Panther Party case where the Department of Justice, and we have a whistleblower on the record, Pat, well, that, that, is, real. that is saying that, in fact, there is a two-tier justice system at, at our Justice yes. Department well, under Barack Obama. Look, look, as Ann said, the big story today is this whole journal, journalist serve thing where the press has been using race, they're talking to themselves. Let me just say, would you have the Black Panther case, they're stonewalling that and using it, you have the same thing happening. They got rid of it. Well, well, yeah, they got rid of him, and the person who would testify, they won't let testify. I, the, main, the media on this has been unbelievable. Same yeah. thing with they, they're doing with the, on, on, on this issue on immigration. They're using this issue politically, and it is dangerous and wrong, particularly for a man who was going to bring, right. a president who was going to bring us together. Colter? Yeah, and that explains why the Tea Partiers are suddenly being called racist by the NAACP um, more than anything else. To distract, as we know from the journal list, when the Democrats are in trouble, call a Republican a racist. Leap out and call yeah, us and racist. The end of it. And, and every one of their examples, when you expand the picture, it turns out it's just yeah, as but, fake but as Shirley Sherrod. But isn't it a sign of desperation if, if the allies of the Democratic Party, the NAACP, they ran the James Byrd ad or the Democratic Party runs an ad in in, in, on radio in 1998, black churches will right. burn, um, and the president uses the class warfare card and said Republicans are the party of the rich. It shows they can't run on their record. So does, isn't there a certain desperation? It not it? only yeah, shows they can't run on the record, it shows that it's great news for America that with the entire mainstream media desperately looking for racism among, you know, Tea Party years, according to polls taken by they the New shouldn't. York Times and USA Today, are a quarter of all Americans. We're talking about, you know, 70 million people, and they can't find one genuine act of racism. They have to keep giving us hoaxes. Right. It shows gotta, you that we if, don't have racism in America anymore. So will, just knock it off with the charges racist, of racism. All right, Pat. They won't look for racists. They should look in their own ranks. Yeah. Frankly. All right. Ann Coulter, Pat Cadell. Love having you.